Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to arc text in Illustrator. You'll notice that I have two sections of text that are that are arced in this image. This is our Web Branch Woodworks logo. Um, and I've got an arched text here where the entire text is arched to match the 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 curvature of this this outer or this inner circle. And then you'll see that this second set of arch text only has an arc on the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hypothetically um, turn this into a logo for somebody else's uh, woodworking company. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to remove um, this the web branch, uh, this arc text here. In order to do that, I'm working with a JPEG here. A uh, very large JPEG. This is only 25% zoom um, in Illustrator. So I'm going to have to trace this first and turn this into a vector. Once it's turned into a vector, I can come in here and I can start cleaning up all of the uh, all the items that I don't want. So I'll image trace it and then I'll expand it um, to allow me to to get get down into these individual items. And then I'll just go through here very quickly. Um, and delete all the things that I don't want. And you know what, I'm going to undo that real quick because um, I realized that when I traced this, I also brought in the white background and that is a mistake. I did not want that. So I'm just going to go over here to advanced. I'm going to click ignore white. and that'll take that white background out of there for me. So now all I'm left with is the black lettering. I can expand that and then we'll just go through here and hopefully I can just select all those and delete them. I'm just going to click in here in this blank area just to make sure I don't have any strange um, paths or fills uh, that I that I can't see in there, uh, or in individual tiny points. So let's get this down. Now this is a vector. Let's get it down um, so that it fit, fits on our artboard. So we've got a white background. Okay, now that that's gone, we can come up here and we can delete. Um, I'm going to delete these. This. November 13th portion. I'll just clean this up. Make sure that I don't have any little straggling points here. All right. So now we've got this blank logo to work with. Okay, so now I'm just going to select my text tool and I'm going to type in here, let's say the Gomez Ranch. Okay, and I'm not going to be real particular about the font size uh, right now or anything like that. Um, we're going to get to that in just a moment. With my main selection tool selected, I'm going to click on this text. And then I'm going to come up to Effect, Warp, and we're going to arc the lower. Now when we arc the lower, we're going to give this a percentage. Now if we go to 30, you'll see that it, it actually will flip it. We can also arc the, the lower in a different direction if we wanted to follow a, a downward curve. I think I'm going to put this around negative, I don't know, 10 negative 10 and we'll hit OK, no, 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 11. Now I'm going to just resize this. Like so. And click out of there. And there you have it. Just that easy, we have replaced um, the web branch with the Gomez branch uh, using that arc text. Now we could do the same thing on the top. We can come in here and we can say um, established um, 
2015. I'll make this font a bit smaller. And then with it selected, I'm going to go to Effect, Warp, and this time I'm going to do a full arc, not arc lower, but arc. And we'll move that away so we can see it. And now we can just kind of fit this text to the shape of that arc. And it looks like it looks like that's going to get a 24% looks like that's going to get us pretty close. And now of course I can just move this to align it or you can use your align tools to align it. But there it is. That's how simple it is to arch text in Illustrator. Have questions, comments, put them in the, uh, uh, or put them below and I'll try to answer them for you. Other than that, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.